In order to solve the problem of semiconductor chips being stuck in a ditch by foreign technology, China has been resolute in its quest to tackle its disadvantages and change the game. To succeed in their quest, they needed to create new, cutting-edge materials to lead their research and development work, and now that their photonic chip production line is set to begin in 2023, ushering in a breakthrough with new ideas to the semiconductor industry, everything appears to be looking up. Alas, what's this new chip all about? And also, just how and why does the United States of America suddenly want in on the action? This and many more will be discussed in today's video. China's first production line for integrated optical circuits, or just as it's more commonly called, photonic chips, is estimated to be completed in 2023. Then again, what the hell are photonic chips? In layman's terms, these chips, also known as photonic integrated circuits or PICs, combine two or more photonic functions to create a single chip that can be used to develop faster, energy-efficient tech or devices. They have a highly effective level of transmitting and processing data with insane levels of precision and can even be used alongside traditional electronic chips. They're a total game-changer. At the moment, the development of this technology could drastically help meet the widespread desire for data crunching in artificial intelligence and even autonomous vehicles and basically any other system that requires massive amounts of data to be quickly processed. Also, another key reason why this new development is so promising is simply due to how potent it could be. In comparison to electronic chips, photonic chips are miles ahead. Not only do they consume considerably less power, but they also move at really impressive speeds, and as a matter of fact, it's believed that the calculation speed and rate of transmission would be a thousand times better than the electronic chips we have today. Also, another difference between the two chips is that while the traditional silicon-based chips use electrons to transfer energy, photonic chips, on the other hand, use light quantum as their means instead. Now, let's talk about why China has been building multi-material, cross-scale photonic chip production lines. To put it plainly, the traditional silicon-based chip materials around us have reached their full potential, and things can't get much better as they wouldn't be able to meet the requirements of further development of the industry in the future. So, that's where photonic chips come in. Using these newer materials is critical to dramatically eliminate the problem of chip performance. Also, it's incredibly difficult for China to actualize its goals due to the largely monopolized US market, so China had to smartly tweak its strategy. At the moment, the trajectory of semiconductor field development can be categorized into two distinct steps. One focuses on technological breakthroughs in silicon-based chips, and the other is the development of alternative, cutting-edge chip technology. We can all admit the tech industry is changing at amazing speeds, right? With the introduction of 5G devices and technology, surfing the internet has never been faster or more fluid, and with that in mind, the need for cutting-edge chips has become even more. Alas, just as earlier stated, the traditional electronic chips available at the moment have reached their limits, and while the manufacturing process is already complex, the core technology required to mass-produce them is all monopolized by American companies, leading to rises in the price of chips. Given how the market is already monopolized by American companies, it has become extremely inconvenient for other international chip manufacturers to develop. Are you getting the bigger picture of why this China breakthrough is so important? These photonic chips adopt a newer chip design architecture idea which would significantly improve the performance of existing electronic chips and, in turn, solve the problems of memory access capability, power consumption, and, more importantly, an overall improvement in computer performance that the traditional electronic chips wouldn't be able to match up with. Remember what we said earlier about China's relentless quest for development and research? Here's something you need to know. As of 2018, they had already made the first optical quantum chip. You're probably wondering why it didn't get so much traction, aren't you? At the time, everyone was still buzzing over silicon-based chips. The overall influence was far too immense, to the point where it completely suppressed the noise from the competition. However, things are way, way different now. Silicon-based chips are gradually edging closer to the physical limits of Moore's law, and while we can all applaud the impressive run it had, there's a wide need for some shaking up, and these new semiconductor materials bursting on the scene around the corner, and the promising photonic chips own the future. With all that in mind, it's really easy to see why if China can seize the initiative in photonic chips, they'd be able to get rid of the restrictions placed on them by the dependence on foreign technology, and like a domino effect, it's bound to skyrocket them to being the center of the global semiconductor market. As a matter of fact, China is already the largest optical communication market globally, and let's not even get started with the domestic photonic chip market size as well, the expansion has been immense. From 2015 to 2021, the domestic photonic chip market blew up from $800 million to over $2 billion, 
with an average annual compound growth rate of over 15%, according to Insight and Info. According to reports from the Beijing Daily, Sintone, a cutting-edge tech enterprise in Beijing, would be in charge of building the production line, and according to its president, Suai Jun, building these photonic chips wouldn't even be a daunting task at all as China already has the structural requirements. Unlike the traditional silicon-based chips, these photonic chips don't need a super high-end lithography machine like the famous EUVs, and also, they can be built using raw materials and various forms of equipment that China is already good at. With all that has been said, let's talk about the stance of the United States of America. A reported proposal has been made by the USA, asking China to share their technology and the results of photonic chips. However, that has come with a big shock to the country. The United States of America and China have been in a chip war for a while now, with both wanting to assert their dominance on the market and the United States of America, in particular, being wary of China using cutting-edge chips in their military. Barely some months ago, we witnessed the Biden administration issuing a new export control that served as a thick brick wall, blocking American companies from selling their advanced semiconductors and equipment required to make cutting-edge chips from Chinese manufacturers, unless they received a special license and that wasn't even the last of it. After that, the Biden administration also reviewed and improved upon those given restrictions, adding over 30 Chinese chip producers, including Yangtze Memory Technologies Corporation, also known as YMTC, the largest contract chip maker in the globe, from gaining access to American chip technology. Alas, probably the most damning of the export controls were the restrictions placed on semiconductors required in artificial intelligence, such as graphical processing units, tensor processing units, and various other forms of application-specific integrated circuits, ASICs. On one hand, the USA made all these restrictions to prevent the Asian giant from gaining access to cutting-edge technology for their military, but on the other hand, given how chips are so important in technology, it drastically crippled China and their advancements in the field, a lot. At the moment, you'd be hard-pressed to believe the proposal made by America requesting China to share their technology with them is feasible, dare to say, it's even totally impossible. While America seeks to find ways to get advanced technology from other countries, they aren't particularly keen on sharing theirs with others, and that's a bit hypocritical, don't you think? To put things plainly, what right do they have to really make such an audacious proposal? Would you be too surprised if a lot of Chinese citizens see it as a double standard or, dare to say, cancer? With all things considered, the breakthrough in photonic chips is already a big, positive news for the Chinese chip industry which can bring countless opportunities and a lifeline for semiconductor companies that currently have their hands bound by the export regulations of the United States of America. However, for the proposal to share technology, at the moment, China can easily choose to either ignore or turn it down, and to be fair, we wouldn't be too surprised if they do so. What are your thoughts about the domestic breakthrough of the chip industry? Also, should China accept the audacious proposal to share their technology with the United States of America? Let us know in the comments.